we have had another change of plans. Um, we were going to head up towards Fort William and get ourselves some uh, breakfast, but Owen decided, he had a look on his map and he said, how do you fancy going here? I thought, that sounds like a good idea. Here's always a good place to go to. Um, Simon hadn't a clue where we were going, but we've just told him where we're going, and it's one of his major ones on the bucket list to do. It's a castle. Um, I can't remember the name of the castle, but I will put the name up for you. Um, but it's the castle that you see when you're heading up to the Isle of Skye. So it's Lee quite... Donan Castle. Lee... Lee... Oh, Ellen Donnan. Ellen Donnan Castle, that's the one. Um, He's going to actually have a whale of a time coming up here because we're going to stop off at the, the classic viewpoint so we can get a shot of the mountains and Ben Nevis and that. The sky is looking pretty awesome, it's quite moody, we've got a lot of open sky and clouds and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome weather and we've had some pretty spectacular rainbows as well. So yeah, Owen's decided in his wisdom, we haven't forced him into doing this, that it's a 60 odd mile drive up to go and, you know, to see the castle, but why not? Boys are out, we're on a little road trip and uh, yeah, we're going to make the most of this one. So right, possible. we're here now at the first viewpoint um, at the mon uh, memorial monument. Um, so yeah, I'll get the camera out and I'm going to have a shot. Why not? Might even get the tripod out on this one. We are back. Like I said, we're at the monument. The monument's right beside me there. Uh, we're shooting this mountain range. Absolutely stunning range. And Ben Nevis is in the middle of all that as well. Um, I got some wicked shots last time I was here and I'll maybe, maybe show you a few. I've just shot a panoramic, I've just had the camera on uh, uh, sideways. <laughs> how, how totally rubbish is that? I've had it on vertical um, and just shot a panoramic. Um, I'm going to flick it back round uh, to a horizontal because there's some rain clouds coming across and uh, I just want to get the rain clouds if I can as they come back over. So I'm just going to try and line the camera back up if I can, go a little bit wider. And there's a nice little, just lock that off. There's a nice little cloud coming over. And if it comes over, somewhere around there, I'm gonna focus, get me focus sorted out. And uh, I'm gonna press me focus button. It's not focusing, why aren't we focusing? What have I knocked off? Don't know, but it doesn't seem to wanna focus. But still, there's some lovely, lovely clouds. There we go, it's focusing now. Um, there's some lovely clouds, some lovely light absolutely gorgeous light and even though i've taken shots from this before these are really really nice go slightly wider shooting at about 90 mil um, but yeah the rain clouds are going over it's dropped dropping the rain on the mountains and uh, casting some absolutely gorgeous gorgeous light on them can't ask for any more considering we had such a nasty start this morning that image there right in the middle there is just fantastic so I'm going to zoom right away in on that I'm going to get a nice close shot get it just where I want it ISO 100 f8 focus on that light in the middle there two second timer make sure it's on hit the shutter button you can hear Simon's going off next to me he's doing a panoramic as well shooting like crazy but the light absolutely fantastic I'll take another one I'm going to keep taking them and I'm bracketing the shots just to get that all that dynamic range in but yeah, a little quick of a stop, little quick of a stop, little bit of a quick stop here. Just thought we'll show you what we're doing, show you a few more images. Owen's gone back to the car, which is just down there, and uh, we're heading up to the castle. So yeah, quick stop, done. On to the next one.
two we're here uh, you may have just caught on that little tiny bit of a rival b-roll a little castle sticking out the corner of the landscape and once again I've been here before you know, whether I better an image or don't better an image it's always hard to tell but I'm here there's a bit of light shining on the water so we'll have a go you never know you never know seems to be a bit of digging going on because a big JCB sat here maybe go down to the shoreline I think that's that might be favorable this time but there she is behind me Ed just there so we might uh, might go down to the shoreline it's nice to have a little bit of snow on the mountain in the background let's have a look I've been on the shore before so I don't know I think more favorable I want to get further around to the left yeah, I want to get further around to the left, I think. You can see underneath the arches. So, I think that'll be the plan. Get underneath somewhere over this end and see if you can look down. And the arches, the reason being is because you've got these little arches just there and you just want to be able to see through them any further that way and they just disappear. So I'm going to go back that way, set up the camera and then I'll talk to you then. Camera set up, nice and low. We've gone really, really low this time. I've never. Like I said, I've shot this place before uh, several times, but I never shot it right down low. So I thought I'd try something a bit different just to make a change. Oh, Simon stood just over towards me there. That's roughly where I was, I think, last time I shot, which is quite nice. It's looking a little bit further down the uh, down the valley. It's nice. We've got a little bit of snow up on the mountains, which is really quite cool. The wind's coming and going, so we're getting a reflection, then the reflection's getting blown away as the, as the ripples come over the water. But I've tried it with a polarizer, without a polarizer. I've also tried it with a 10 stop on. Um, tried one of my new case magnetic ones on to see if that works. And uh, yeah, it seems to be all right. Seems to seem to work quite well. I like, excuse me, get a bit of water droplets on there. I like the fact you can just pop them on uh, with the magnets. So that's pretty cool, uh, a bit like the old polarizer I had it's just knocked my camera off again turn it off um, I had it on manual focus this time as well I don't normally shoot manual focus but I thought I'd, I'd go one extra step and just crisp it up really sharp on the on the castle um, I might just try over on the bank slightly coming across see if I can get the actual top of the castle in the actual white of the clouds and the snow but yeah not a bad simple shot very very much a classic as per a lot of them um, but well worth taking and every time you come as well because every time you come there's always slightly different conditions slightly different look on it so yeah pretty good nice and simple but good pack up and go and leave this area I thought I'd just try something else but I put the 10 stopper back on get down nice and low again and try and use these rocks um, I'm not sure if there's too much separation between the castle at the top of the image and the rocks at the bottom I don't know whether it needs you know compression somehow um, but I can't get it from where I am but I just like the idea of having these rocks leading you into the light leading you into the image then you have the water in between and then a little castle at the top uh, the castle is only going to be quite small by having the angle you know angle tip down and the lens wide open um, with 16 mil on the fuji that's probably about 24 i would have thought um, but i think it works let's just have a have a look at the images see if they're not too dark they're a little bit on the darker side i think i need to lighten them up a little bit so i'm going to take another exposure and go on to a single shot and I'm going to overexpose it as bright as I can I might have to bring the f-stop down a little bit let's turn that down to an 8 let some more light in and I'm just going to take another one at the foreground and I'm going to focus on the foreground as well I'm going to take another one on the foreground focus on the foreground just so I know that all these rocks are sharp and it's bright enough to keep it I can soon blend the top of the image to the bottom of the image in I think it'll work I think it might work this is going to be a 30 second exposure, I would have thought, this one. Um, but it's definitely, let's go back to live, switch it on. Yeah, now I've got all the detail in the foreground. 
all the rocks are nice and sharp which is down the bottom here and uh, yeah I think that'll work flick it over onto the next image and I've got the mid mid section yeah I think that'd be alright I think we can live with that very good another little image sorted something a bit different from from my version down here and the rain is just coming across now you can see the rain coming across over the top there can't see if I'm darkening you down a little bit just so you can see let's have a look it's plus in it let's go the other direction darken you down now you can see the rain coming across there now and uh, it's looking a bit moody it's cool it's cool it's all good it's all good I'm enjoying it I'm tired but I'm enjoying it <laughs> So yeah, I found another image. Look at that. Rock, rock, rock. Three little rocks, water, reflections just coming back on, cast in the background, snow on the top, wild clouds. What more do you want? Um, I'm doing a couple of 30 second exposures just so I can get some nice smoothness on the water. Um, I've got the polarizer on the front, but I'm not actually using the polarizer as such. Let me just check these, just to make sure they look all right don't think they look too bad what I am going to do I'm just going to spin the polarizer back round to make the rocks dark and the light the, the um, water really bright because I think that works quite well f7.1 25 seconds 7.1 I had to bring it down a little bit I had to shallow my depth of field because I couldn't quite get the light in right um, it was going over 30 seconds and I wanted to bring it back down to 30 seconds or under 30 seconds um, but there are some weeds now, weeds, some uh, seaweed coming through the bottom um, and actually sticking out in that reflection. So it's spoiling it a little bit. And I've just noticed one other thing that's in the image is a, a small rock. Can't see it, just, just in front of that big boulder, um, which is just spoiling it a bit. So I might just move that out of the way and take another quick shot. And I like the little seaweed on the side of it as well. Simon's doing a lot of exposure as well. So I've got, got two minutes before Mr. Rowe over there packs us up in the car and drags us the hell out of it. So yeah, let's get one more shot. I know it's all been a rush, the whole video is gonna be a rush because we just really are darting around and doing the best we can to capture so many places. Just dragging Simon around really and showing him as much as Scotland. And we've got, yeah, and he's got 425 miles to drive and get home tonight because Mrs. C's doing us all dinner. So yeah, I'm gonna put you away for a sec. Get this shot sorted out while the water's level doesn't drop too far because there's another rock appearing and uh, move that little stump out of the way. So I'll catch you later on somewhere else.
Well, we're back in the car. Mr. Rose gave us our orders. We've got to get back in the car. We may have to sacrifice one of the locations we were going to try and do, um, but we've got one more on the way back down. We still haven't found breakfast and the time is getting on. Um, we'll almost be past morning in a minute and uh, we're all hungry because every time we get to a cafe, i.e. this one, it's closed. So we haven't doing too well. Just had a look at uh, where we are on the map. I'll put a map up in this corner for you, somewhere there, to show you where we are in the country. Um, quite a long way up. Um, approximately 418 miles away from home and a seven and a half hour drive. Uh, so I might take over from Mr. Rowe when he gets to the motorway to give him a bit of a, a respite. So yeah, that's it. We're heading back down country and the next stop will be breakfast i hope because we are starving <laughs> Well, we are at our almost last location. We are at the famous little cottage there with the mountains behind it. At the moment with all the water we've had, there's quite a lot of water in the river. There's really quite a big flow. Normally you can see right to the bottom of this, but you're not seeing through it today. Uh, I stood right behind the bridge. You can see the bridge is behind me there. Um, the rain just tried to come down, but we just managed to lay off a bit of rain. So I've just been messing with a couple of shots. Like we are we're a bit of a rush. We've got seven hour drive to get home. Owen's still up at the car. So we can't spend more than about five or 10 minutes in this one location, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but I don't mind. We've had a good day out. We've had a good weekend and uh, I'm just really playing with shots now. I don't quite know how I want the image to look in a fairness. Um, in fact, I think I'm done. I think I've managed to get what I wanted. I took one roughly where Simon is now, just on the edge of the bank. I've got this lovely leading line from the bottom corner coming in from both sides with the water flowing up. Uh, I may go back there in a minute with the, with the six stop on as well. And I've also taken one from here and I've put the cottage on the right hand bottom third and I've got the mountains in the top but the sun has just come out now which is making it really quite hard to shoot from that angle. Um, but it's definitely worth having another look over this side just to see if I can just get a slightly different shape on things because there's a lot of water and it's given me a bit of a different image to what we normally would see. See the water's come right around this edge down here which you don't normally get to see so uh, yeah bit of a rush job F11 ISO 160 like I said I've got the the six stop on the front there and I've also got um, the polarizer on as well so uh, yeah seems to work quite well that six stop doesn't stick to it quite as easy as the other one because um, I haven't got the right fitting on but yeah cracking little shot cracking little leading lines we haven't got our boots on probably so we can't go far and that's it we're in a bit of a rush we're gonna do a quick stop at the black roof cottages um, just so Simon can get a shot of that I'll get another shot maybe a handheld one and then I'll check out then so see you in a little while very very shortly
which is not fair. Mr. Owen has just not stopped the car and I wanted to take a picture and I'm mad now. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's dedicated now to get back home. We've got to get home. Uh, sat now is telling us quarter to nine. So Mrs. C is going to go absolutely mental with us, but we've just seen a rainbow. I did get a little bit of B-roll of it and I took a few photographs through the car window, totally professional and all that. And uh, yeah, I don't know whether they're going to come out or not. Um, but yeah, we're going to call it here. I'm going to say goodbye. Um, I know it's been a really stupid video. Uh, just a mad dash round Scotland. Um, like I say, we were seven and a half hours away from home a little while ago. So we really have, you know, done some distance. And uh, good on Mr. O for driving. I'm just going to put the visor down because it's blinding my eyes. I can't see a thing. But I am here. Hello. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to say goodbye. Say thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. And maybe next time. I'll have a proper video, I'm bouncing all over the place and I have a proper video with some proper technical information and uh, maybe a few photographs as well. Until next time, from Mr. Rowe in chowing the dark now. now, he's chowing for now in, Simon's in the back in Bye. the dark, there he is, <laughs> ciao for now, see you soon, bye.